Hey guys and welcome back to Pokemon Unite. I am really excited to play this game. Um, so we actually have some more practice uh, that we didn't do uh, last time. Okay, Irby! Here you can review the first tutorial or try out some other tutorials for intermediate trainers. Check them out once you get used to battles. Okay, so we got tutorial, we've done the two basic ones. So I guess we're on the advanced tutorials. You have to aim well and get your timing just right to land moves on opposing Pokemon. So I think um, this game, from what I've played so far, um, it's like very aimed at the young gamer. Welcome, have you gotten the hang of Unite Battles? Here you can learn how to aim and cancel moves. In this tutorial, you'll practice with Cinderace. Let's review. Press R to attack with the Pyro Ball. Press R to use a move and automatically unleash it on your target Pokemon. You can change the direction of a move by holding down R and tilting. I think I've already been doing this. Aim carefully with Pyro Ball and knock out Mr. Mime. If you want to cancel a move, press B before you let it go. Let go of R. That'll cancel your move. Let's practice by cancelling Pyro Ball. Easy! Oh, is that like the whole tutorial? Right, cool. Noise! Got them things. So tutorial advance two. Rotom provides powerful support. Okay. I'm guessing he's like one of the top or bottom boss people that you can get. your teammates oh he actually goes with you Goal zone defenseless. When you defeat Rotom and it reaches an opposing goal zone, your team gains 20 points. What's more, that goal zone will become defenseless for a short amount of time. Your team's goal scoring speed is increased dramatically while your opponent's goal zones are defenseless. Eh. So it speeds up the scoring. That was a lot faster. I 
When a goal zone is destroyed, the effects of the speed flux zone connected to it disappear as well. I knew that. Oh, we gotta destroy another goal. Them slowpoke. Never mind, I'll go get them. They just like getting wrote on. Yay! So is he at the top in every game? I wonder. Um, two more. And then we'll do some battles. Zapados can turn the tide of battle. Good old Zapdos. And I'm kind of sad that you can't play him, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. Your team started battling Zapdos. Go join your allies. Ooh, who am I now? Can't fly over walls. Too stupid. defeated all opposing goal zones are now defenseless can I not pick them up how oh. destroy the middle goal zone do they mean that uh, obviously this one right there he's pretty cool kind of reminds me of um, Genji in Heroes of the Storm
Yay! See, this is like... Like, from... The more I see... The more you don't want to fight the actual opposing team. You know, the more you just want to farm the... The little guys. You pretty, like, it's it's weird, like, you pretty much just want to, like, jungle the whole time. And then, you know, if you come across, like, a, the other team trying to get one of, like, a Rotomon, Rotom, or, like, Dreadnought or something. Um, you go after them and, like, do a team battle. Okay, Obi. Defeating Ludicolo, Buffalant, or Dreadnought can help swing the tide of battle in your favour. Something different happens when you defeat each one, so let's give them all a try right now. Okay. Defeating... Ludicolo will give your Pokemon a purple aura. Try attacking wild Pokemon with low HP while your Pokemon has this aura. It'll deal more damage than usual. Cool. Oh, okay. It's like little spinning. That's from the logo. Defeating Buffalant will give your Pokemon an orange order. Or aura. As long as your Pokemon has this aura, it attacks can decrease the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time when they get hit. See, maybe that's what was happening to me. And I couldn't move. Maybe. Okay, now I've got both the auras. Use your buffs to defeat Dreadnought. Defeating Dreadnought will grant your Pokemon a shield. A shield nullifies some of the damage that a Pokemon would take. Do I still keep the... Like, how, how long do I keep these auras for? I'm guessing they wear over time, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So I've only I've only got an orange aura now. Yay, we got a shield. See, but how long does the shield last? I'm guessing that wears off too. Done. Did I unlock anything? I oh, certainly did. Complete the tutorial basics one and two. I did, didn't I? I don't get it. Can I not get those? because they're on day one now.
Oh no, I've done them. Right. Participate in a standard battle four times. I've got to do one more battle. Complete the advanced tutorial. Wow. <laughs> I got a little bit confused. Score a total of 50 points. Deal damage to Rotom and defeat it once with you and one of your teammates dealing the final blow. Deal damage to Zapdos and defeat it once with you or one of your teammates dealing the final blow. Okay, so I'll do that in the next battle. And I'll just try and score 50 points. Cool. Let's go have a battle. Battle, battle, battle. I wonder if there's different stations. I mean, stadiums. I knew what I meant. Um. I haven't been him yet. So I want to be him and see what he's like. He's a melee speedster. I don't know what that means. Normally you have like support and... Yeah, like supports and tanks and like... The damage dealers, but what the hell is a speedster? And I only just saw that you can do battle prep now. So I didn't do that. But that's great. Oh, there's another Zerora on the other team. Venusaur? I want Venusaur. Um, I think I get him tomorrow. I think he's the third day um, unlock. Ready, go. Let's go, team! I'll go with you, Bulbasaur. I don't know, is there normally like three top or three bottom? I don't know. So Rotom's not there. He's a bit different to play. I don't know what R does. Damn it, I used my potion too. I think I was lagging a lot there. Freaking trying to save Snorlaxy. Oh, 
hard to play. Plus I don't really know what he does. They're not up yet. I'm guessing that they're there all the time. See Dreadnought is there now. We should go get Dreadnought. I've lost so many balls. I bet they're getting Dreadnought. Yep. Yay, they got shields. See, I think if if your teammates help kill the thing you should both get the auras. No? Like, it's a bit crap. I just want to hand in. I still haven't worked out how to talk in this game yet either. Does that mean we got the shield for our players?
I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh well. At least I got my things in before he took me down. Um. There is so much more of these things up top. Oh wow, we've only got a minute 55 left. Everyone's down the bottom. Oh my god, how is he so much faster than me? We may... Ah, oh, I think it's over though. Oh, I don't know. Shit, can we do this? Five, four, three, no! Two, one. Time's up! Oh wow, really? What? I don't understand. How is that possible? <laughs> well, thanks, Jackie LKW, for that. Holy! I'm guessing that's when they tried to get our bottom goal and they all died, maybe? That was fun though. Um... Battle again? Yes. 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 Yeah. So, well, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this episode. And I hope to see you in Pokemon Unite. It's a really fun game. And it's free. It's free, guys. Come on. Um, well. That is Cheater out, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one.